ever get to a point where you are trying to store food, especially being a nomad, and you had, the biggest problem you have is you're buying ice all the time, or you're trying to contain it so you don't go through ice as, as much as you do, but you always find that you're spending a lot of money on ice. Well, stay with me because I'm gonna show you how to change that. <music> For your best advice, right here, right here, for the best advice on how to reduce your debt and create remote income while living in a vehicle. Now that could be either a car, an SUV, a van, a trailer, or an RV, regardless of what it is. Hit Subscribe below and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted of every new video I come out with. One thing nice about it is that uh, when I unboxed it, it was packed really good where I didn't have any problems with it as far as any damage or anything. It came in intact. It does have, uh, in the front of it, it does have uh, features. Adjust as far the, as the temperature, temperature, either minus. So it can be used as a freezer or it can be used as a refrigerator. It does have like eco and then it has maximum power output. The power button as well as setting and then the on and off button here. One thing nice about it is that it uses a minimal amount of power. So my hopes is to be able to charge it with my solar panel, which is on my roof of my 2014 Toyota RAV4. Oh, stick with me because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get a fully charged out of a, uh, plug it into, into a regular outlet, hooking it up to my solar panel and then maintaining it at that level. I have over 37 years business experience creating income and just in the last five years did I start devoting that time to producing remote income where you can make money on your terms when and where you want. The back of the RAV4 is uh, situated during the day uh, but what I'm gonna have to do is I just already charged up under uh, shore power here so what I'm gonna do is bring that out because it's the temp uh, and I've already done the testing on it as far as uh, the type of temperature it says it is inside and in fact it is so I bought a thermometer to put in there as well all right here is a refrigeration unit it does come with a couple cards on it uh, the first one actually like them on Facebook and so on or if you want to correspond with them other thing is the warranty card that out I'll fill that out and go ahead and send that off into the mail and they also has a little instruction booklet which kind of goes uh, a little bit into detail as far as how to set it up. That's actually what I did when I was going to start uh, charging it. And so what I did is actually plugged it into the shore power in order to get it up to tap. But let me just show you what I have over here. I've hooked up my solar panel. Now, a couple experiences I've had with that, the first one I've had, I had problems because dummy o me went through a car wash. Well, when I went through a car wash, it ripped the sides off up here, and then I had to reconstruct that and then put it back up. Yeah, even though when I have passengers, uh, I, it doesn't disturb anything. I mean, the belt's right here, and that just lines around it. I, uh, I use the pipe uh, insulator uh, around the wires just so they're not out and then uh, the inside of the vehicle is maintains the distance and the space for passengers to enjoy themselves but not you know you I'll just close it it's got plenty of clearance doesn't hurt anything I haven't had any issues with it with the uh, riders so as long as I don't have any issues with riders I'm good to go but here's the unit and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and rearrange I mean, this is what I have in the back. It's pretty cramped, and I have things in the up in the front as well. But everything's cramped in here, so I got to rearrange it to try to have enough space so it doesn't look like it's really packed. 
when I have people looking, you know, or inside, and then also have it where I can get in and out of it. So let me see what I can do, and I'm gonna start doing some rearranging. Alright, then now, now what I'll probably do is uh, try to rearrange it as far as the space requirements. So I put my bed, this is that three panel bed. Uh, it per, what it was, about $100. I think it's less than that. You can find it on our website at www.freedommobileliving.com. We're an affiliate with Amazon now. The proceeds, all they go to is they go to help the people in need, like in the nomadic uh, communities. So we use that. Any money that we make from the YouTube channel, whether it's a patron, as a supporter, they support us monthly, or whether it's uh, somebody on uh, YouTube that uh, contributes to our cause, all that money goes into filming and going out there, reaching to a, a somebody that's in a community that's really having uh, some struggles and just needs some help and assistance. Get on to our website. There's a, very, a raft of uh, different types of products. If you need them, that's great. Don't buy them if you don't need them. We want you to support us only when you need the product. Uh, now, they wouldn't be on there if we haven't tested it and found out to be a good product and a good quality in a, at a lower price. And that's really why they're there. So we've already tested them in some three panel mattress. Now normally when I sleep with this, you lay one on it because I don't like to lay on this and have to wash this. I'd rather wash just a plain uh, sheet. So uh, I put a flat sheet on it. And then uh, on top of that, in order to keep warm, I have a blanket, which you seen earlier that I put on there as well. Now, a lot of times I'll just use a blanket and then the top sheet um, but I also have a sleeping bag that will go down to negative 20 so those are in like the when I wake up and it's 43 degrees because the more inconvenience you have the more of a hassle this life becomes it can be very easy but it takes you to adapt to things and have things in a certain spots so I'm getting back to the refrigerator <laughs> getting that in here so this gives me an opening area now my battery is on the right hand side this is my battery and it's got a case on it uh, and then it's fed into my inverter and obviously then i have my controller my controllers with my solar panel so my solar panel wires i showed you earlier they come down through and they go into the controller and from digital, that, so it shows you the output it also shows you what's going into it as well so you can kind of monitor what's coming out and what's going in uh, on the con controller it kind of shows you the charging as far as the status of the battery uh, and just go ahead and plug it in right now all right now she's plugged in and she should be charged up i'll pick up my uh cable and then i can uh put the unit right in there set it at 46 degrees and then if you can either increase it or de decrease the temperature I don't know if you can see that it has an eco max as well so I can either do do it on the eco or do it on the max on the draw of the energy and then there's also the set button on and off and if we open it you can see it's got quite a bit of room I do keep this in here now, people think it's crazy, but what it is, is Arizona Cactus Ranch. It's prickly pear nectar. So, I take like a teaspoon of it a day. Now, it, uh, it helps with my immune system. I'm, try I'm trying it. I, I kind of bought it from a lady uh, to help her out, but then I also thought about my health. It's supposed to reduce blood sugar, glucose levels. If you're a diabetic, which I am a diabetic too, it's also supposed to hurt, uh, help with your... Uh, blood pressure which if you have issues with the heart that might be a good issue so 
and then you can keep uh, I've just put a few things in here that's one thing that's very important is to make sure that all your food is in within the safe range I don't care if you refrigerate it you freeze it whatever you do now the temperature in here right now is 42 degrees and I've had it open for a little bit so it's probably dropped a little bit as well so then it has a basket in here that you can lift out lifts out real nice it's not too deep and I like that because then I don't have to dig for things I can pretty much organize what I want to organize with it and that's what I'm looking for it's pretty much it for the inside of the fridge now on the side of the refrigerator there's uh, outlets or grates where the fan uh, is, which you need to keep that free from being obstructed because then it, uh, get the compressor can overheat. So I put items in between it. I don't know if you can see that, but I put this item down in front of the compressor and that way it keeps this open enough to keep air moving. On the other side, I have these little notches are out from the case for the battery case which is farther out than anything else so it keeps a good air movement in that area as well all right the second thing what i'd like to do is cover it and the reason why i want to cover it i want to prevent any type of heat to obstruct it now they have uh kits that go that you can buy that are leather that go around it and they got the openings for the vents and stuff but the problem I have with them is that they're so darn expensive. I mean, you can, get it, you can pay anywhere from $30 for a small unit all the way up to $150 for a bigger size unit. So this thing is 32 quarts. And uh, you can get, I think you can get as low as 26 on up and you get 55. But this is the size that's uh, good for me and I can keep food in it. I and mean, I can have some fresh stuff like fruits and vegetables. I have like six gallons water jug i used to I mean, i've been through so many different types of water jugs where this is thin and tall so it gets six gallons in it so when it gets almost empty like it is now i go and fill the five gallons because you always get a little bit more than five gallons so i end up getting a little bit more water with this type of jug than i did in any other jug so something to think about at least it gives me six i'll, I'll generally have five and a half to close to six gallons uh generally when i'm traveling so all right, and then I have what I talked about, the sleeping bag. I generally uh, have it wrapped up, and I put it at the end of the RAV4. And then I also have what's called uh, the fan. The fan that you will love in most nights. You warm out where you need the, the cross ventilation. It's nice to have that cross ventilation at all times in a small vehicle like this. And that goes in there. And then I have my swamp coolers in here for those days that are really hot. And also my uh, portable uh, my portable toilet. And then I have a catch-all. This is my catch-all bag. I really don't do a lot with it. And I put it in the back here. And if you look, that's pretty much it. And that way you get a true picture of what the inside looks like. And then I'll go ahead and shut my hatch. And you get a true picture of what it looks like even in the, the side doors from the back. The only thing you do see is, and I might rearrange that one, but it still doesn't obstruct any type of passengers coming. Well, that's pretty much it, folks. That shows you how I pack it in here. I have the convenience of uh, having refrigeration for my food. I don't have to use ice, so I save uh, anywhere from thirty to fifty dollars a month on buying ice. Not to mention the amount of time it takes and the gas to, in order to get there. So I've eliminated that part of it. And the whole idea of living this way is not to live where you're roughing it or toughing it. If that's the case, I'll put a backpack on and I hit the woods that's not how I want to live I want the convenience of what you get in the sticks and bricks and you and with this type of living I have enabled me to at least adjust it to the point where I can get convenience 
and I can make it easy for me in order to live. And so with this type of living, it takes a lot of adjustment. One of the, probably one of the biggest things I've ever hurdled was adjustment from living in a larger area down into a vehicle uh, where there's times that, you know, your anxiety sets in because you're know, not sure what to do when. Now, one benefit I do have is that I enjoy, I, I work, I've always worked. It's something I've done, I have passion for it because I'm always trying to open up more opportunities as I get in my life. Uh, so my whole uh, premise right now is, is, is to create some type of remote income uh, and it's good because various apps that I use in order to do that. So my total income has never changed It's just I kind of spread it over different types of platforms uh, A couple things it does for me because it gives me a sense of security where I don't have to rely on one source of income Because if that falls out. I still have other incomes that uh, I have tried and I've used in order to uh, Be part of that total income. I want to make per week And so what I'm asking everybody join with me and get rid of that rat race really get rid of that rat race get rid of those fears that you have and come out here and make your vehicle your mobile bedroom if you can do that that could release so much anxiety and stress that you will open a whole new horizon if you really got anything out of this video I ask that you subscribe below and hit the notification bell and that way I'll notify you every time a video comes back out now one of the things that I want to do is our patreon account which is out and designed to help others so all the money we raise in our patreon account we're gonna give out to people in dire need in the community and then we want to film it so we want the money to take the money and if we do distribute it out or give it out to people in the community we want to film it and then show the folks on the YouTube channel uh, what we can do and what what how it impacts other people's lives and maybe you can join with me so go ahead subscribe below hit that notification bell join with me and make a statement and say hey you care about the people who are less fortunate in this community and we can join together to help each other